Yo guys, what's going on? Call of the Car Guys. I'm joined by Nick Convery. How you doing today, boss man? Pretty good, pretty good. Uh, you ended up uh, top eighting uh, ARG Orlando here with your uh, PK uh, BA deck, right? Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. How was your tournament experience all around? Um, I mean, I think it was pretty fun. I, I went X2, so I didn't get like that cool X1 label, but my losses were first place in NU, so that's fine. Hey, we got there, though, right? Yeah, yeah, we got there. Thank you. So why uh, BA out of all things? Uh, I just felt like after playing Monarchs for a while, I got really tired of losing matchups where I just didn't get to play. And I felt like this is a deck where you do actually get to play pretty much every game. Uh -huh. So you just actually get to function. You can probably win games. Awesome. Well, let's go yeah. ahead and see what you play here. Okay, so I mean, it's, it's standard fire at this point. We have the one, the two, and the three Phantom Knights. I mean, there's not much to explain there. That works. Uh, BA monsters, played three Skarms. Some people played two of this. I just felt like no hand is worse with a Skarm. Like, that's always what you want to be discarding to make Beatrice, so that's pretty good. Uh, the two Seers, obviously. Two Farfa, don't really miss a third. It's it's good enough. Then uh, the one of the Alec for breakthrough skill, Calcab, Libic, Barbar, the one of Graf. Is, that's still pretty good. The four tour guides and uh, the garnet, good, I guess. Good old time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you draw this card and you suddenly start trying to figure out, like, can I make Levier? Like, I, I had a play where I purposely barbared a seer so I could summon this and bring it back off Levier. It was really bad. Like, you just, I don't know. You do things. And then Maxi, I felt like this card was actually really good. I don't know. Some people are saying they really regretted playing Maxi, but Maxi was really good this morning. Did you play any mirrors at all? Uh, I did. I did play two mirrors, and I opened Maxi in both of them, and it was really, really good. So, of there course. you go. Yeah, like, Maxi cherries. Pretty, pretty solid. Now for the spells, three Twin Twister, because... Actually, this really only came up, like, basically hitting Domain. I hit Domain, like, three times with that. So I actually didn't lose game one. But I guess it also hits the Iris Abductor, and you don't lose to back row, but still. Uh, the one Rhoda and the one Foolish, because I mean, this is any Phantom Knight, and this is any card in your deck, so that, that's pretty good. And for the traps, uh, three Fogblade, obviously. Uh, I played the whole Solemn Brigade. I felt like this needed to be at three simply because it hits hand traps. So, like, striking Valor on your tour guide, striking the Maxi and just actually killing them that turn was always really good. Or, like, striking the Cherry so I didn't lose the game was pretty helpful. And then uh, two anti-spells because I think I had four game ones where I just flipped this behind Beatrice and that's it. Like, you just you hit them for 9k next turn and they didn't play. Mm -hmm. So, I felt like anti-spell was honestly, it was way better in the main deck. I actually, against Pendulums, would sometimes side it out because they're siding in just, like, five outs to the card. And so you just take that out and put in like a Vanity's Fiend. Yeah. But, yeah. So, uh, extra side first? Is that no, either one's or? fine. All right. Oh, shoot, my extra is not sorted. All right, so anyway, we'll go to that. We played three Dantes, obviously, because you should do that sort of thing. Good tech choice. Dante Turbo. Uh, played three Beatrice because, I mean, it's the best card in the deck. You make three almost all the time. It's, yeah, that card's ridiculous. Played the one Virgil and the one Pilgrim. Uh, Virgil's actually amazing against how, how good the Pendulum deck is right now. Like, being able to hit their scale back into the deck is very, very important. So, because, and the other thing is that the Pendulum deck right now, of course, is playing Skyrim, so you can't target it. So you'll need this and Break Sword to be able to actually break apart their setups. Or if they Pendulum call, since all of them are playing three of that, then you could just spin it instead of blowing it up. Yeah. Which is really useful. And they're, they're all playing that, that janky Magician. And honestly, I think that is terrible against this deck because that's the card that made me play the game against them. Because you get to summon Beatrice, crash into that, get a Virgil, and clear their scale. So, like if they didn't summon Janky Magician, then I couldn't clear anything. But, you know, I don't know. Uh, the two Break Swords, uh, summoning two of them came up pretty much every single game. So, the Rebellion Dragon for, you know, using Break Sword. Uh, Levier, because if you're summoning Levier, you're probably winning that turn. Uh, Grand Pulse, because this is still necessary for... Sometimes just when you get cherries, I guess, you play that card. Like, <laughs> hit back row. Nightmare Shark, because you need this to be able to win any game that goes near time. And uh, F-Zero, because this is how you... I don't know, this is how I won the mirror. I overlaid two Beatrice into this to win mirrors, so... That was pretty awkward. That's fine. You just, like, bait their Fog Blades and then make that. Uh, for the side... Uh, three cherries because you have to. 
only because if you don't have this and you get cherries, you lose, but if you hit them, then theirs is kind of dead. Uh, two vanities for when you get cherries. Uh, three system down so that you can go first and draw all of them and lose the game, I guess. But, I mean, otherwise it's a good card. It, you know, hits everything out of the graveyard. Three Masquerade Restrict. Because even against EDM, like, the scariest things they're actually doing are summoning Monarchs. Everything else is kind of, like, like Pleades is a little bit frightening, but if you just stop the Pleades, you probably win. So, I don't know. Two Gamma Seal, because Kirin.deck is so good that if you do not open this card, I probably should have sided three of it. It really is. Like, like the, yeah, you just, you have to turn that off to be able to play the game. I probably honestly should have sided three of this card. Definitely should have, actually, instead of one of these last cards here. Uh, so I Spirit Dragon, in case I played against Blue Eyes. I don't want to side a lot for Blue Eyes, but you could Cherries the Spirit Dragon, and then they can't really beat you because they make rank eights, I guess, and you farfa it and you win. And then uh, Shadal Dragon, which is the worst idea ever. I drew it all three games, I sided it. So, yeah, this should have just been a third Gamma Seal. That would have been way, way more useful. But, uh, yeah, that's the, that's the deck. Awesome. Hey, man, congrats on uh, top eight, man. Any shout-outs or anything you want to give? Uh, I mean, shout-outs to my car and testing partners, Taylor, Gene, and wherever Eric is. So, oh. like, yeah. you know, that's what made the deck work. Awesome. Well, hey, congrats again. Hopefully we'll see you again on the channel very soon. Once there's another ARG States running around or something else like that. Yeah.